Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life, Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge, Academia University TV and the YT House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV. Well, we are here for a 6 a.m. Uh, pit stop. It's six hours and three minutes into the fifth day, I'm assuming. I do have to check and I will check because I can't remember. Yeah, it's the fifth day of December. Oh, it's kind of where things are right now. Let's see what else came in here. Nothing significant, but. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, six hours and three minutes into the uh, fifth day of December 2021. We start with our time and date stamp because these are uh, research notes. This is this is my log, my journal, uh, my diary, if you will, uh, in which I jot down, uh, you know, segments of my day, segments of my thoughts. And, uh, we move forward from there. Uh, it's not everything, it's not my entire notebook. There's a lot more in my notebook than, uh, than, uh, typical, than you would see here. I mean, uh, I just spent, uh, uh before I went to bed, I spent five hours, uh, going through old photographs. Oh, of, uh, fashion for boys. Uh, from the 1800s up to, uh, 1900. So basically, uh, less of time period. Basically, from the beginning of the Victorian era all the way to, towards near the end of the Vi Victorian era. There's a shift in the Victorian era to around 1900. This is when the flappers came, come in, uh, uh, up until the 1930s, you have the uh, 1900, 1910, 1920, 1930s. And this is where you have a shift in... Um, there is still the Victorian era, but it shifts into something known as the Cosmopolitan era. This has gone from these large royal uh, imperial gowns uh, that were even the middle class was wearing uh, at that time. The middle class... Again, wasn't necessarily a middle class that we talk about today. The middle class were oh, what we could say because they the upper middle class. They were part of the gentry. They weren't part of, uh, of what we call general society today. Then the general society was only high society. There was this is why you had them as debutantes, and you still have the debutante balls. But the debutante balls really don't have the significance that they had back then because uh, the the upper class. Uh, if you were so-called middle class, didn't have to work. Uh, there was enough money there that they did, really didn't have to work. So, the, so there was a lot of called leisure time, uh, and they spent a lot of time at a lot of time at these parties. These uh, the women had something called salons, where they would invite other women over that have specialized guests and. The, the women actually had a fair chunk of power, even even though they didn't have the sort of called the, the rights of men, if you will, in this perspective, and this is talking about men, the gender again here, because uh, we're not using the anthropomorphic sense. And what happens, you can sort of see in terms of the, and this is again, you're looking at the particular class of this, uh, you look at the class that called the upper class, they were sort of considered the gentry. There was a different style for boys and a different style for uh, for uh, for um, uh, than you would consider it to be for the average. The average person had a, they, were, they were dressed up. There was a sort of a, a sort of a cleaning up of the person. You could still tell that they weren't of the class that were particularly called, what we call today, the elites. The elites had the clothing style that you couldn't work in. There was no way to work in the style. So these weren't 
these weren't, if you call them leisure, leisurely or leisurely stuff clothes that you could wear wear to work. Because right? you couldn't work on it. You couldn't, you know, dig in the garden. You couldn't do anything with the stuff. Uh, uh, and so it was mostly there for show. It was basically the wrappings of a particular person of a particular status. Uh, so how a person is wrapped in their clothing really determines where the status is. If you're wearing basically over, uh, overalls or, or, or pants with suspenders and you see the suspenders, well, then you're a person who's likely to be sweeping floors or digging ditches or anything along those lines. And so how the fashion changes shows how society changes as well. It, it reflects the attitude that society has in terms of their understanding of clothing design. And it is so you can do you can do class structure with clothing. You can also do uh, the shift in attitude over periods of time. And the attitude that uh, sort of comes around the uh, 1900s uh, is one of for the upper class, very sleek design. Uh, this is they're now very very thin. It's no longer the wide gowns, the wide hips. Uh, it's now sleek pencil line design. This is if we could talk about pencil skirts and so on, so on. Very slim and sleek design. Uh, this is what it was. There was a very slim, very sleek. Uh, the women instead of showing big hair had very had had hats. The the the, the, the chapeau that was basically skull-like. It, it was a skull cap that covered various different areas and had different adornments on top of it. So it was, they had their elegance to them, but also at the same time, it was a very slimming design. Uh, this is when they had the uh, cigarettes with these long holders on them. You know, they have these long, you know, uh, imagine a stick coming out to here, from my mouth to here, and then there'll be a cigarette on the tip of it. Well, this, this is what they had, but a very thin, very sleek, very sleek design. But the thing is, their clothing matched the stick. These were stick figures. They, they were. This is, this is what they talk about. Talk about the cosmopolitan design. And there's a whole history to it. So you you, you can go into as you're doing these different other research because you're talking about uh, people's behavior in the observation vlog. You're observing the behavior. When you go into history, you have to look into how people behave in, in many ways because the clothing reflects the behavior and the understanding of that particular period. That's what you do. You go into the you go into this if you call it, well a fashion uh, uh, history, but that it, that in many cases what you're doing is you're looking at pictures. You're looking at seeing what pictures you can find. And it takes a long time to go through things and really sort of put together, you know, what is what. And I think I've spent I spent five hours today doing that, or well, yesterday doing that. And so the, the research like that makes you tired, and what ha happens where you see me sort of slouch, and you know, I wasn't my body wasn't in the condition to go outside and do the observation outside, so because of the work I had done earlier. That's supposed to be my vacation. I'm supposed to be, you know, December 1st to uh, to February 1st to reorganizing my notes, but sometimes you get sidetracked and you find something uh, new that you want to go take a look at, and before you know it, it's, you know... Uh, it's definitely it's going to impact my notes. <laughs> I have a lot more notes to sort of go through now and a lot more to organize, but uh, that's kind of the way things are. And so now we're at a pit stop. Uh, I've got more work to do today, so uh, things are a little early today, so instead of having a pit stop at noon, it's now at 6, so, uh, 6 a.m., so onward with the, uh, with the pit stop. As uh, the vlog editing uh, process gets closer and closer to the uh, film date, in other words, I'm posting closer to my film date, uh, I have to offload the phone, the device I'm, I'm filming on more and more, sooner and sooner. Anyways, it's 21 uh, hours and 46 minutes into the, I think it's the fifth day. Yeah, it's the fifth day of December, uh, 2021. I just got back from a lecture. Uh, 
uh, they're interesting. I find lectures interesting. As I said, it's always interesting to see someone else or to hear someone else's perspective on, even if it's the same thing you've been working on, you want to see someone else's view, someone else's point of view. Maybe they got, they found something that you missed. Um, uh, so you do that. You do, you, you, you do, you go to other lectures, you go to other uh, uh, events like this, and uh, if you can. In my case, uh, I'm also doing the sound. I did the sound engineering for the uh, for the event. I matter of fact, I did the whole. I did the sound engineering for the whole church. So I'm still working on it. That project, sort of. So. Anyways, I'm going to start the YouTube stroll, and we'll see what's what's up with. Uh, Yali Vlogs, right now I'm at the Yali Vlogs, I'll go by the Leroy's and, um, it's our life, and then from there to our family nest, and from our family nest, uh, probably, uh, Carly Reese, and then from Carly Reese I'll go to, uh, uh Family Five Vlogs, and see how everybody's doing. <laughs> this is a brief little visit. Anyways, uh, I will see you uh, probably a little after midnight. I'll come back and uh, maybe film a little bit more, just give a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a discussion. Well, we're here for a pit stop and a package opening. It's Eleven hours and two minutes into the uh, sixth day of December, two thousand twenty-one. For that. Oh, so let's get to our package opening. With email and package tracking, you know what to expect. And uh, two packages in one. I find rather than spending twenty dollars on a phone case, to spend three dollars by a pencil case that's the same size as a phone case. So that's what I do. And given that I'm an anime fan, so my choice would be uh, something along the lines of this. This will easily fit a phone in it. Uh, as per example. Uh, phone. Inside the case, phones inside the case. I can put there's a little room for accessories and stuff like that, so I can do that as well. Uh, and because of the padding, it's a fluffy thing. It's a it's protected. So when I'm carrying in my bag or whatever, because I always carry extra devices with me, so this is uh, will serve the purpose. And let's see, the other one is more of the same. More of the same. It's the same type of thing. So let's get that out and get that done. Okay. Double bagged it. <laughs> so well, here's the other one. Here's the other one. So I got two. One seems to be cinched down, so it doesn't pop up too much. A floppy thing, just one ear, just goes, goes up like that, and so it's nice. Same thing, velvet, soft, nice. And that's about it. Now I'm on to my pit stop. And I'm off to, uh, I think it's uh, Our Friendly Nest and then uh, Carly Reese. And 
from there uh, on to uh, 75 blocks. Well, it is uh, 19 hours and 25 minutes into the sixth day of December, and we're getting our day started. Uh, it's always rolling along. It, 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 I have a problem where I get an idea, I get up, I start looking into it, and uh, sleep is interrupted. So, uh, But anyways, uh, we're going to start all over again with our YouTube stroll. I don't know if I'm going to go outside tonight. I still have some work to, to catch up on before I go outside to do the walk do the observation work uh basically i have till about 10 o'clock to do that so uh we'll see where we get with everything and uh go from there so uh i looked at the i watched our family nest uh, yesterday carly seems to be doing okay <laughs> i think she's she's coming along Allie is in Hawaii with her family, so... Uh, a large chunk of the time, the vlogs are a couple weeks out, so... It takes a while to catch up with them, or sort of, you have to look for them on uh, either Instagram or Twitter, or, or now Snapchat. Snap, Snapchat is becoming more popular again, so... Uh, these are the different places you look for them. Uh, but anyways, uh, onwards and upwards with uh, uh, the Yai vlogs, once again, as time for that, and... Uh, begin the, uh, daily YouTube stroll. Well, it's three hours into the seventh day of December, and we're riding, uh, through a weekend blowout. <laughs> uh, so I've been sleeping a lot. And, uh, I haven't gone by our family nest yet. I went by, uh, Yali Vlogs. They're all in Hawaii, but, <laughs> uh, he, he talks about, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the the husband, John, who's the main vlogger there, it's his channel, uh, talks about uh, vlogging all types of conditions, good, bad, and the ugly. <laughs> so, uh, he was showing some of the stuff he's doing now, he's learning different things. and uh, it, Being uh, sort of adventurous puts you into situations where you have to get off enough to get inventive with your thinking and it forces you in, into learning new skills, and that's certainly the, the case here. I think sort of where Carly is, uh, is that she's sort of in coasting mode, somewhat of a burnout, but not much of a burnout. It just sort of, you just sort of see that this, she's kind of just flatlining for a bit. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing too heavy, nothing, you know, just sort of, there. <laughs> so, at least you, th this is what, this, sometimes, when you don't have the energy to do something amazing, what you have to do is you have to have enough uh, together so that you can do the mer the bare minimum, the, the, the needed amount to sort of get through or survive to the next uh, point wherever you're going. And this is, I think right now, she doesn't necessarily know where she's going. There's still a, a question mark. In that case, in any case, from my from my perspective, that's kind of how I live. I don't know where things are going. Exactly, there is no uh, you know final definition for where I'm going. So there are periods where you're sort of in this coasting mode, and, and <clears throat> particularly when you when you when you're taking the time to reorganize your notes. Uh, Things are in transition again, and so what happens? I am in transition period uh, for about two months now. I'll be reorganizing my notes, uh, and well, certain things have finished. There, are, the newer stuff hasn't come in yet. They're just sort of the, the very uh, sort of uh, outlines are just being developed, and this is looking at the taking a, a new way of looking at history and turn, asking questions. You know what we learned in school. How much of it was? How much of it was real? How much of it was tr actually true? You know, kind of more, more of that. I think maybe uh, the knowledge you get all the way through high school and, and see now your first and second year of university accounts for maybe not one percent of what's out there. 
So that's not much. It's about one percent. So basically, <coughs> uh, high school, you know, all of school, your regular school, uh, you know, elementary, junior high, uh, or middle school, or uh, up to high school into your first and second year, you're barely scratching the surface. You're just sort of that's kind of like a babysitting service type of thing. Uh, and then those who want to go on to something bigger and better in terms of what they'll learn, others will simply set into a routine of life and continue on the way with everybody else. Knows, with, with with everyone else, they become part of the crowd. Anyways, uh, uh, I'm going to leave that here for now, and I do have some more vlogging vlogs to watch. I have uh, a meal to prepare. I'm going to have some sort of lunch, or I don't. At this point in time, I don't know what it is, lunch, breakfast, or dinner. It's going to be a, a, some form of cereal, but so it's going to be, but what, what meal it's going to be for, it's going to be, I don't know. Well, I'm getting back into the swing of things. I took a couple of days off. I'm still pretty much in a down mode. I am fully ramped back up, ramped back, ramped back up again. Oh, anyways, it's uh, 22 hours and 46 minutes into the... The seventh day of December, and I'm at the Yowie Vlogs, going to start the YouTube stroll, and I'll probably edit uh, the Notes Vlog, <clears throat> should say the Notes section of uh, our, our Life as Cyborg Alpha, our Life as Cyborg Alpha is split into three streams, it's the Notes and Notebook, uh... Then there's uh, the observation vlog and the noces vlog. So those are the three streams. The observation vlog and the noces vlog are uh, verbal essays put together at the moment, or uh, in the moment, I should say, uh, uh, from the notes that I've collected. So uh, there are projects that I'm working on, sort of. They're, right now they're in loose stages as I work to sort of correct things. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for here, because I am moving on. And a little thing just popped up, a notification popped up, so I've got to see what that is. I hear this little... Mm. Someone sent me a notification. I'll go in and check it later. <laughs> it's from Instagram. I, got a little... uh, I don't have my no notifications always turned on, but just enough so that... Uh, I get a short notification and that's it. Ooh, oh. But uh, I'll sort of go through things and sort of see how things are going. And as I do the YouTube stroll, I'll try to get the note section, uh, the next uh, the next uh, date from the note section up tonight. And then move on to the observation vlogs. I do have to take a number of uh, vlogs that are on here and move them over to the cloud. I do all my editing from a cloud. I use the uh, Google Cloud to do it, so yay for that. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now, and I'll uh, talk to you. Guys, I'll see you guys uh, in the next transition, probably uh, around four or five o'clock in the morning. Academia University TV, a project of Academia University. Open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. We are Cyborg Alpha. Infinite Tween and Middle School 4.0.